Hi YouTube, it's me, Marcy T. Oliver the Princess. So remember when I told you guys I was gonna start this whole motivation, weight loss community thing? Well, this is the first episode of that. And I have 10 weight loss motivation tips for you guys. So I guess you can say this is motivation one-on-one type thing. Um, so let's get right into it. Number one, the first weight loss motivation tip is to read an article or a quote or a success story um, on the internet or in the magazine or something like that because I believe that will help you stay motivated and if you see that somebody else has done something good or that they succeeded, you will feel more motivated to succeed yourself. And I actually try to read stuff like that, but sometimes it makes me kind of jealous. Like, <laughs> how could she do it? What about? <laughs> but it, it does help when you see, especially in the newspapers, they have uh, success stories and the ones I read. The newspaper I read is called AJC. Well, in the AJC newspaper, they provide examples of what the people ate to lose weight. And um, that's really good because you can like um, make your meals the same way they made their meals and hopefully you'll lose weight. So that is kind of motivated. Motivation for somebody who's trying to lose weight or whatever. Okay. The second motivation weight loss tip is you can write your own success story. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I think it might help. I haven't done it yet. I, I guess I could do it. Uh, if you guys would like an example, I'll do it for you. Um, well, I don't have it right now, but I'll do it for you guys. You will basically write, um, have you seen something like, um, you know, like, I don't know, but I don't know about you guys, but in high school, they made us write our own obituaries and things like that from when we had died. It's something like this, except you're writing a story about when you finally lose weight and the battle is over. So I think that'd be good because you can motivate yourself and say, you know what? Ever since I wrote this story, I really want this story to come true. And writing this story has made me realize how happy I would be when I do lose the weight. So it could be, it could be a sort of motivation for you to write your own success story. Okay. The third weight loss motivation tip is keep skinny people around you. And I've seen so much, um, use, I've seen so many YouTubers ask this question, do I keep the skinny chicks in my circle or do I keep the skinny chicks out of my circle? Well, I say you keep it in because if you do hang around a lot of big chicks, the big chicks are not really going to be, um, they're not going to really encourage each other to, uh, to lose weight in my opinion. But if you do meet some big chicks that are just ready to lose it, then you can stick with those too. But I would think if you hang around some skinny chicks and you're the only big one, you will be more motivated to lose weight because you see like, oh my God, I don't fit in with them or such and such like that. So that could be motivation too. The fourth weight loss tip is to transform a pic of yourself, a picture. And what I mean by that is there are um, sites where you can like cut the fat off your pictures. You can like wrap the fat. I think it's called warping or something, warping the picture. You can do that and um, it'll like make yourself skinnier. And that could be motivation. You can like hang it up on your wall or something. And you can look, just look at the picture and say, you know what, I'm trying to get to this. So I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, which one do I want? I really want that one on the wall right over there. That's what I want to look like. So yeah, that would be a, a sort of motivation too. And when I find that site, I will put it in the description box. I'm not saying I'll have it soon up there, but um, I know I did a picture where um, I warped a picture of myself and it came out really nice and it should motivate me. I should print it out on my wall and 
I should print it out on my computer and put it on my wall and I should be motivated. Okay. The fifth weight loss motivation tip is to let your family know you're trying to lose weight and what I mean by that is to let your family know that you don't want to eat all this crazy stuff because when most people get around their family, they're going to eat a lot, a whole lot. And your family can actually help you lose weight also if you just put a little standard on them and let them know, like, uh, I'm trying to lose weight here, you know, <laughs> so that's a good thing, okay? Weight loss motivation tip number six, believe in yourself. And I know that sounds so corny and so cliche because you've heard it before, but really just believe in yourself and let everybody know I mean, let yourself know instead of letting everybody else know let yourself know that you're ready to lose weight you're comfortable and you can do it okay simple as that weight loss motivation tip number seven listen to empowering workout songs okay and um by that we mean listen to songs that are motivating don't just listen to a song because it has a nice beat and it'll keep you going through the exercise listen to a song that has good words in it you know what i'm saying like for me some of those songs could be uh i have one song in my playlist that helps me get through stuff um whether it be wearing my exerciser or going through a tough time or something like that and that song is called walking by mary mary they have some good lyrics in it, and uh, I think that's good. I have to find some more um, songs so I can put in my playlist while I'm working out and stuff to help me stay motivated. And I actually saw a video of Takara, the supermodel, plus size supermodel Takara. And um, she said one of the songs she puts in her playlist is T.I. Motivation. And I mean, that sums it up right there. The name of the song is Motivation, so <laughs> hey. Anyway. <laughs> Weight motivation tip number eight. Use self-talk to your advantage. And if you don't know what self-talk is, it's kind of, it's, it's when you talk to yourself. But some people talk to themselves positively and other people talk to themselves negatively. Now, you want to be one of those people who talk to yourself positive, okay? So, any kind of self-talk. Don't think you're crazy or whatever like that because, uh, you're not crazy or something like that. The kind of self-talk you want to say, for example, is, I'm going to get through this today. I can do it. Um, something like that. And most people use self-talk when they exercise. I know I use self-talk when I exercise. Like when I'm on that Stairmaster and I'm just like, oh, I just want to give up. But you just, I just say, you know what? I can do this. Don't give up right now. Only such and such minutes left you know <laughs> so that's what i do okay weight loss motivation tip number nine write down your goals and make a contract okay um i write write down my goals all the time like if that's something i don't do i do this right here okay i write down my goals all the time but i've never like made a contract for myself <laughs> not that i can remember um but when you mean write down your goals, you just like, um, you write down what your weight is right now. This is what I do. I write down what my current weight is right now. And then I put how much weight I want to lose a month. So I put, um, for February, I want to lose 10 pounds. And then at the end of February, I say, I put down what weight I want to be. And that just works for me, you know what I'm saying? And I can give you guys an example of my uh, weight loss book or whatever. I'll probably do another video on that, how to write down your goals, because I think that's really, really important. And um, making a contract is just like you put, um, I, Marcy T.O. the Princess, agreed to lose weight <laughs> before, what? February 2011 okay so you just have to stay committed or something like that and at the bottom of that you can put if I don't lose weight after you know such and such 
I have to face the consequences. And um, damn, that'll be it. Um, weight loss motivation number 10. You dress up at least once a week and check yourself in the, check yourself out in the mirror and say, I look great. And that actually helps because um, we sometimes don't uh, embrace ourselves while we're big already. So we might as well just go ahead and do that. You know, like that'll keep you more motivated because uh <clears throat> yeah whatever okay mm-hmm. weight loss motivation tip number 10 you can walk around like you're skinny already and I think that'll be helpful because uh, you're gonna have to get comfortable being skinny one day so why not think that you're skinny and start getting comfortable now That'll be motivating because it'll actually motivate you to actually get skinny, not only think of yourself as being skinny. So um, that'll be a good thing as well. And um, that's all of the motivation tips for this episode, first episode. Um, I hope I help you guys. Um, if you guys have any tips, tell me because I'm in this with y'all. Like, I don't want anybody to think I'm just putting these tips out, out here like, I'm some kind of doctor and I'm trying to help you guys. No. I'm doing it for me and for you because we are on this weight loss journey together. Because uh, I can't lie, y'all. I've been sitting in here in front of this camera so many times acting like uh, it may seem that I'm sitting in front of this camera acting like everything is okay, but at home. Losing weight is no joke. It is so much hard work. And I have a thyroid problem too. It's crazy. But we're going to get through this together. And that's all that matters. Staying motivated. All of us staying motivated together. So if you at least do one of these things that I've listed each day. You don't even have to do all of them. That's just too much. Just do one of these things I've listed for you today in this video. And you will succeed. We'll get through it together. So thank you guys for watching. I will come back with another video probably next week. So thank you guys so, so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye.